In my previous video, a subscriber requested for the double boiler method in making a new hair growth treatment that actually works 100%. Guys, that was my edges and this is my edges now. This is also me showing off the current length of my hair. You guys can see the difference, right? So buckle up, get your ingredients ready so that you will be able to make this simple hair growth treatment that works 100%. If you are new here, please don't make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button and turn on notification bell the Let's first item on the list is aloe vera aloe vera contains folic acid and also contains vitamin such as b12 which keeps the hair from falling off and as you all know aloe vera is a natural detangler so if you have not gotten hold of aloe vera please do and it also contains vitamin a c and e which contributes to cell turnover and promotes healthy cells for growth and it also adds shines to your hair it also promotes hair growth and helps with split ends it also helps with conditioning your hair the next item on the list is fresh carrot carrot contains vitamin a and vitamin e these vitamins are really effective for hair growth provides a better growth contains beta carotene prevents hair loss, contains anti-inflammatory properties and antioxidants which prevent dandruff, dry itching scalp issues. It strengthens the hair and also prevents hair breakage. It adds shine to the hair, also helps in preventing split ends. You can go ahead and use the oil of your choice. As a starter, I will tell you to work with what your hair loves. My hair is okay with this extra virgin Goya olive oil. It's very inexpensive and i believe everyone can afford it you can literally see that in every supermarket then i went on to get this argon essential oil and fenugreek essential oil you can choose not to add those or you can add them it depends on your choice we got greater knife and um, the container to do our double boiler method all items you all are seeing here are already washed the aloe vera has been washed um the unwanted parts has been removed the carrot has been washed thoroughly the container we are going to use has also been washed thoroughly so um you can choose to scrape your carrot but i'll advise you not to scrape it because the part the since we are not eating this carrot, the back of this carrot also has its own benefits alongside with, with the benefit that comes with carrot naturally, okay? So please just grate it. There's no need of scraping the carrot and using the inner piece. It's just like you're wasting your carrot. If you also have blender, I will advise you to blend it. My blender is currently not close by so i had to grate mine okay so please make use of your blender if you have it close to you if you have come this far please do not forget to subscribe and turn on notification bell to all so that you won't miss future uploads okay and also share this video to your loved ones let them know there's actually a channel that can help them to grow their hair and on this channel my aim and objective is to make sure that we grow our hair not just long but in a healthy way okay and leave, give this video a huge thumbs up if you're liking it already it's also helped my channel to go far so i'm going to be showing you different ways you can cut your fresh aloe vera you can cut it in cubes you can cut it in slice it in in slim slices or you can scrape out the aloe vera juice so depending on whatever your mind or your spirits accept there's no problem at all please go with what you feel like is the best for you so we are going to either cut it in cubes as you all saw saw it or we are going to slice it in very very slim sizes like you guys can see you can see as if you are slicing a bread so if you don't want to cut it in cubes if you have enough time please slice it very very slim this um helps in releasing all the ingredients all the benefits the goodness of fresh aloe vera and if you don't want to cut it in cubes or in slices you can also scrape out the aloe vera juice just like the way i'm about to show you you can make use of your spoon or your knife depending on the two tools you are comfortable with i believe um knife makes it faster and scrapes out all the 
um aloe vera juice but if you're not comfortable with knife because it might be too sharp or too dangerous for your hands please make use of spoon and do not injure yourself if you haven't seen the video of how i made this in form of living spray the link will be in the description box i'm so happy a lot of you actually enjoyed this video and it went a little viral yes so my for the number of subscribers i have it actually went a little viral so thank you guys so much and if some of you that have not watched it yet the link will be in the description box i'm currently doing a hair growth challenge for 30 days using that hair growth treatment for 30 days to see how my hair reacts to it to show you all that it actually worked for any type of hair you can actually grow your hair with this potion you don't need too much some of you spend a lot of money buying products and at the end of it all the result is not worth it so just give it a try and i promise you you see positive results and please be consistent don't use something once twice and say that it's not working your hair is breaking your hair is this use it the right way follow the technique i'm going to use in applying this and your hair will definitely grow okay please be patient with your hair somebody's hair can grow faster than yours but that doesn't that doesn't mean that um the treatment is isn't working for your hair probably you're not using it the right way or you didn't make it the right way you just have to be patient and follow the steps that are used in making mine then be consistent consistency is key guys consistency is key i believe you guys are following the way that i'm using to make this growth um, treatment after i grated the carrots i put the aloe vera poured in my oil i poured everything you can measure the quantity of of oil you want so it depends on whatever you want i left it to double boil for 20 minutes yeah 20 to 30 minutes making sure the ingredients have infused in the oil properly then left it to cool down for extra minutes depending on how long it takes so after leaving it to cool down now i'm going to transfer it into this glass jar you can um the reason why i did not use a glass jar initially because i was scared that it will break in the pots so i was not so sure if this glass jar can resist hot um water you can resist heat so um that is why but if you have a glass jar you can use it if you're very sure that it can resist um heat okay so right now i'm straining out the oil into this jar then i'm going to leave the remaining ingredients so that i can use it to make a hair mask i will seriously love you guys to see this video so let me know if you want to see it in the comment section below and i'll give the person a shout out in my next upload okay thank you guys so much if you have made it to this far i really really appreciate you you are the real mvp thank you so so much so the next step is to show you all how i apply this hair growth treatment so um in order to make it much easier for me i transferred it into this spray bottle or should i say applicator bottle so this is the remaining um spray that i made in my previous video you can see how little it is right now that's because i'm using it every day i'm consistent i'm doing a 30 days hair growth challenge like i said before if you want to join me look at the um your description my description box to see how i made it you can click the link over there to see how i made this it's very easy to make you don't need to spend a lot of money i've told you guys this before i grew my hair with natural ingredients even my products that i sell i made it with natural ingredients like 95 percent of the ingredients i use in making it is natural ingredients okay <laughs> i really had to break that down so after applying that leave-in spray on my scalp and on my hair making sure it has penetrated very well i went in with this hair growth oil that we just formulated make sure to get your edges your scalp your entire hair then i use this technique i learned from coily hair proverbs you place your four fingers 
um above your eyebrow followed by the next finger so that you can get your pressure point you make sure you massage guys massaging is very very important some of you don't know the importance of massaging your hair should i tell you that it helps to thicken your hair also it helps for the blood circulation around your scalp around your hair in order for your hair to grow you can see how my edges are growing my edges weren't like this before it was not like this before but all thanks to the ingredients i've been using how patient i was how consistent i was so you have to be patient I've, um, apart from using this um ingredient there are some things you also have to stop doing which um you can watch some of my previous videos and i'll also make more videos you can see how my hair is growing and i have not even reached the 30 days challenge so if you your hair is all out is not in protective hairstyle like mine this is another way you can do yours so sprinkle the leave-in spray from your scalp to the tip of your hair then you make sure to massage it very well like i said massaging is very very important then the next step is to go with the oil go on with the hair growth oil apply it on your scalp and on your hair as well make sure to get the tips of your hair the tips of our hair is very very fragile our hair is fragile but see those tips of our hair is like the most fragile part of our hair followed by the root of our hair so be very very um patient with your hair use the right technique use the right method don't rush the process just take your time if you are tired and you don't have time for your hair please create time for your hair if you are rushing somewhere you're having a bad day don't pour out the entire frustration on your hair because your hair is already fragile so it's going to break okay you can see how long the hair is it wasn't like that before it's it's time it takes time just take your time be consistent use the right technique the right um ingredients if your hair is not accepting this ingredient you move to the next one so this is a leave-in conditioner i'll also leave the link in the description box to show you all how i made it it's very easy and if you want to purchase it you can send me a dm to purchase it and this is to seal in the moisture you know we're in the hamatan season so if you're not sealing in moisture the next day your hair is going to look dry as if you did not do anything before so sealing in the moisture is very very important so that your hair will stay moisturized at least for two to three days before you repeat the same process again okay so over here i'm going on to apply this leave-in treatment on the other sides of my hair so now i've shown you guys how to apply this treatment whether you have cornrows or braids or twists and if you are not putting in any protective hairstyle hope you all have enjoyed this video thank you so much and god bless you i want to use this opportunity to say a very very big thank you to you all how much you guys have been showing me love and support on this platform it has not been easy i won't have gotten this far without you guys Thank you so much and I pray that God will continue to replenish you, bless you day by day and also give you the strength to tackle your hustles as well. And I also want to wish you guys a happy new year, compliment of the season. I pray this new year is going to be a blessing upon for all of us and I pray it's going to come with a lot of success with you all. This new year is going to bring a lot of bigger opportunities for us all. Thank you so much and see you in my next upload. God bless you.